Emojis. These cute small pictures that we use every day for chatting online have almost become our second language in the digital world. They offer a way to add emotional touch to a message. I am excited might sound boring in a text, but add an emoji to it, it will automatically say what's in your mind. LOL has become a laughing emoji, I love you has become a kiss emoji, OK has become a thumbs up and so on. Though these emojis may look small, it takes one year to make them. Yes, that long. Emoji is a Japanese word that means pictograph or pictogram. Initially, there were emoticons and then later in 1999, Shigetaka Kurita, a Japanese artist, created the first set of emojis. And these were mostly symbols. Emojis then slowly started to become popular in Japan and then later across the globe. And now as we all know, emojis have conquered texting. We almost cannot imagine our digital life without them. But have you ever wondered who manages these emojis? Well, there is a Unicode consortium, a non-profit organization that decides when and what emojis will be released. They launch new emojis every year. And by 2022, the emoji count could grow by 3460 in the world. And these are some of the new emojis that will be released this year. And you know the best part is these emojis are created by everyday people. You don't need to have good funding or a professional designing degree to suggest an emoji. If you feel that there is something that needs to be represented as an emoji, you can just submit a emoji proposal on Unicode Consortium's website. And it is that easy, but the whole procedure and the criteria to decide what emoji will be finally released takes one year. You go through and fill out a form that we have available on our site. After you mail it in, it goes to the Unicode Emoji Subcommittee, which meets me. once, sometimes twice a week. And we typically comb through a really long list of emoji proposals that have actually come through. Then the proposal goes to the Unicode Technical Committee, which meets quarterly. They will assess it, and about once a year, this set is filtered down a little bit further and becomes a set of draft candidates. The draft candidates are open for public review, assuming that they all make it a little bit further. Those go into the Unicode data files, and these data files are used by every computer in the world to determine how to use the emoji. When emojis are born, there is usually a big press cycle that says, congratulations, these are the 60 new emojis you'll find on your phone. Largely though, those images aren't what you'll find on your phone because it's up to the different folks who create emojis from Apple or Google or Microsoft to actually articulate them in a visual way. I hope you found this video useful. Do share this with others and let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite emoji.